All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? It's uh, my Thursday morning, and uh, I got a, uh, uh, we got to finish up this little straw and seed job that I was just started on the other day, but we ran out of seed. Uh, so we're gonna finish that up today, and uh, got one yard to cut. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, not a lot going on today, but uh, I need to get paid on that job and all that there. So, yeah. Uh, it's real warm. Uh, another thing I may do today, if I... Really, I should have went on and done it now. Is... Uh, Go on and get the sand for the pool. Uh, I, because I, me and the guy got a deal worked out where if I provide the sand, he's going to, you know, uh, then it's not uh, going to cost me as much, you know. Well, that's in our contract. So uh, I'm going to get the sand and get it over there to the, uh, to the pool area. Uh, I might go ahead and do that today if I have time. You know, we'll just see. Let me see what the Budweiser's up to. Uh, you know, he had a pretty good bit of money last night, so uh, he he probably I, I'd be willing to bet he's broke. Yeah, he, he, he's probably broke, so. And hung over. So I know for a fact we won't be doing nothing too deep. Uh, I was watching a little bit of YouTube last night. I've had time, you know, I was looking at a little bit of YouTube last night and I got on uh, Will and Brittany's uh, live. Well, I didn't go, I wasn't on the panel, y'all know I don't ever do that, well, very rarely. Uh, but I got up there, uh, I was in the comments, you know, man. It's always some damn, some baby mama drama going on in lawn care land, huh? Dude. Uh, and I don't really even know what's going on. I'm like, I'm like Ken and, and Danny Lanier, you know, Ken from KLC and Danny Lanier from Lanier. Lawn care. I don't even know what's going on, man. Uh, because I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, I I just ain't got time to, uh, to 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 devote or think about all uh, that stuff. Of course, nobody's coming at me, you know, with that crazy crap. So, you know, I guess if they were coming at me, whoever's coming at who and who's going to, you know, who knows, man. You know, I just know this, that, you know, uh, no one me or anybody else you know you're ever going to be able to control what someone else looks at on youtube or comments on or this or that you have to kind of take it for what it is you know uh, you know you uh, trying trying to control or uh what somebody watches on youtube dude you know that's that that that's an impossible task, you know, an impossible task, and you know that would that would that would literally take up a whole lot of time, and then what ends up happening is you start alienating people, you know, uh, because people feel like you're trying to control them, and you know, people just don't take kind, you know, that they just don't take well to that, <laughs> you know. I know that nobody's gonna try to control what I watch on YouTube. They can try, but that's a big waste of their time, you know, uh, because I watch a lot of videos, you know, uh, about a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, I watch uh, The Dirty Lawn Thug, I watch uh, KLC, I watch Danny Lanier, I watch DLT, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, I just, you know, I just wanna get along with everybody, man, if I can, you know? And that's all, you know, at the end of the day. 
you know and you know it's lawn care man you know I mean it's not supposed to be this dramatic y'all <laughs> you know what I'm saying and I like I like everybody so I, I mean if somebody wants to think that I'm you know pick sides or whatever and not that I'm anybody unique or anything I'm not I don't I'm not picking sides or or anything uh, I don't I don't I don't I don't have a side you know uh, I'm just me you know doing my lawn care videos trying to make a living you know that's that's what I am that's what I do that's what my everyday consists of you know and I just don't have time or more to devote the time required you know to uh, I don't know to all that you know I want to devote my time to growing my business and making my money that's what I'm all about you know so excuse me if I'm you know not you know I don't know uh, what's a good word I'm looking for here Excuse me if I'm not devoted one way or another to anybody. Uh, what I'm devoted to is running my business and doing videos and making a living. You know, true enough, I love my subscribers and I love people commenting and I want to be, you know, uh, friends, you know, uh, of other people in the industry, right? I want to be friends with them. Uh, as much as you can be friends on YouTube, I mean, you can only be, you know, uh, so devoted and so into YouTube friendships, you know, and loyalties and all of that, man, you know, I mean, uh, my thing is if I don't like what somebody says or somebody does or what some, how somebody acts, then I just don't watch them. I mean, you know, I don't, uh, you know, uh, really like getting into the day-to-day -day drama because it always seems to be some day-to-day -day drama uh, uh, going on, you know, and, uh, and get this, but we love the drama, y'all. I mean, I mean, let's just let's just keep it let's just keep it real. You know, I do videos over bobcat work, lawn cutting, and tree trimming, and blah blah blah, and I get we'll say 500 views, right? I do a video throwing another YouTuber under the bus or calling out somebody. The you the, the video uh, uh, view views go up substantially. Right, I'm not talking about another 20 people watch. I might go from, you know, four or 500 views to eight or 900 or a thousand or even more views on a, on a video where I'm putting drama out, you know. And I know in the very beginning, uh, I, I, I used to get more involved in the drama, but I've learned, you know, you, you learn what's, you know, what's important and what, uh, you know, uh, how to be politically correct. I mean, I feel like a freaking politician, you know, always having to uh, be so political and trying to get along with everybody and, and this side and that side and this side. Now, of course, if somebody comes right out and does something stupid and I feel the urge to say something, then I'm, I'm, I'm opening myself up to criticism from that, you know. But I've learned over the, you know, the, the couple of years that I've been doing the YouTube videos to try to stay out of that as much as I can, you know. Uh, yeah. Because I don't really, you know, have no skin in the game of, of, of anyone because nobody on YouTube or uh, is paying my mortgage or, you know, is, you know, paying for my equipment or anything, you know, getting me work, you know, I mean, you know, and so, you know, all the drama has to be, you know, taken in with a grain of salt, really, 
to be honest, because uh, I'm all about making money out here doing the lawn care land, you know, and feeding into or, uh, you know, always having issues with each other doesn't help me make money. It doesn't help me stay focused on lawn care. And that's what, you know, I feel like the lawn care community should be about, you know. It's just my take on that, man. And, you know, I don't have any drama with anybody. I love everybody, <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to pick up the Budweiser, and we're going to get to work, y'all. Peace out. We'll definitely uh, get the straw down, just hand the rest of that seat down, get a check for that, get a check for the little old yard, and you know, call it a short day today. Uh, maybe I, uh, the sod is supposed to be delivered uh, down here to the, the landscape design place uh, in the morning. Hopefully, maybe it'll come this afternoon and I can go on and get it. Yeah. All of that, man. Anyway, uh, I'll get some video footage uh, here when I pick up the Budweiser. And y'all know he's going to be, yeah, he's going to be hung over like hell. Uh, that's why, that's why. You know, that's why I didn't want to work him too hard the day before yesterday because, you know, the more money Bo has, the more, uh, the more screwed up he gets. So, uh, here's that. And I know y'all heard me talking to him yesterday in the truck. That boy ain't listening to none of that shit. I, 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 it, it's, it's at the point to where I don't even, I don't even say it for him. I'm saying it for me because I just can't, you know, <laughs> I mean... You know, I just can't, you know, not say nothing, dude. I mean, it's like, man, really? Are you serious? You know, and all that. So, uh, I know he ain't listening. I know that he ain't thinking about no nothing, you know, like that. So, you know, yeah. yeah I, was, I was standing right here, Bob. Huh? Some water. Well, you need to get some money. This one right here. You got, some, you got some money? No. I, some I, money. I sat there and I had five bucks and I sat there and gave it all to him. That old man let me sit dude, there. Dude, you had a nice, a nice little bit of money yesterday, dude. What'd you do with all that money, man? Look, you know those teeth in the back? A little corner broke off and it's poking uh, inside of my dog. So did you pay for it, Dennis? You know what I mean? Is that where the money went? It just started. I got I bought pain relievers at the drugstore and everything yesterday. Oh, yeah? So where, where, where's the... Uh, yeah, I bought to get pain levers. There we go. I told you I found that, right? You already showed you that. Yeah. Oh. Please keep all this stuff in the bag, dude. All right. Man, whatever we do, whatever we they smoking, dude. That's some downtown brown, ain't it? Golly, it smells like some straight. Straight, damn, nasty dirt weed, man. Damn. Yeah. Hey, bud. Yeah. So what'd you do last night? Hang out right here. Spent all your money though, didn't you? <laughs> what are you doing? What you got? What you, what you got going on here? Okay. okay. I'm gonna watch you, man. I'm gonna watch both. I need to buy me some chat bars, uh, the cost I ain't got no. I ain't got no. You're gonna have to damn figure. You gotta you buy your own glasses, dude. You, can, you can't, dude, you can't get, get bank money and then get in the truck the next morning talking about you need all this shit. You know? I mean, damn, dude. You know, you should have bought you some glasses and bought. I mean, you, you, you killed me with that dumb shit, dude. 
you know? Dude, that is weird. What? Yeah, this, I know this, it's this weird. This is the one that didn't give me no problems. You know what right. I mean? Well, they all gonna give you now, problems as long as you ain't bathing. There's a piece wiggling in the gum. And, you ain't washing your ass. Sensitive. You ain't brushing it's your sensitive. teeth. Yeah, you ain't, like, like, you ain't washing your ass you know or mean? nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Can't believe you got your money and it broke. You didn't mean, hit the hose. That's how you go, man. Can I hit the hose, bro? Can't can't get, they, they got a hose out there, right? You spend all your money yeah, over there. That's, that's, where, right? yeah, that's where you need to be damn you know, washing your ass at. I mean, if you want to you wanna live like a dog, man, uh, you can live like a dog. It's ridiculous, man. What else can you kill? Huh? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know. You know. You know. You know you have, you know you had money yesterday and you blew it all every dime. See, there's, there's where my building is. Yeah. Around. See that? Mm -hmm. Right over that hill right yep. there, there he is. I see. Right there. I just want to get this uh get this the rest of this straw spread over here at uh at uh at the property we started the other day. That's the only thing I'm really thinking about. I wish they sold hot dogs and stuff like that over at the uh, library. I mean you could have walked oh, anywhere and got you got you a hot dog this morning, dude. You know? For all the money you spent, they should have they have continental breakfast over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't give you food. Who don't? I don't know what to tell you, dog. No. That one right there. Let's put this off and leave it up. No. Oh, these put your nasty hands all over everything. You wonder why you get talked to any kind of way. This is why. Oh, no. I don't need them all. Yeah, I know. No. I know. I just want to get the straw down, dude. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. Let's get the straw Is he down. still. That guy's. Huh? That guy still at work right there? I don't know who. What are you talking about, dude? Look at him. He's still out there. I'm about ready. He got me out. off already, man. No, I was just saying. He yeah. came in the Mexican yesterday uh -huh. and they came in the I need you to stay. I need you to stay in the truck here, okay? All right. All right. Cause this guy right yeah, here, he ain't gonna play with you. This guy right here will lock you up, man. Come in here wanting to do this and do that. I just need you to stay in the truck. Here you go. All right. Just hang out in the truck. Be five, not even five minutes. All right. Can I have a Snickers bar? I don't have a Snickers bar. They got them in here. I don't. Okay. You, why don't you buy you one over okay. there? Oh man. I mean, I ain't, dude. I don't know what to tell That's you, cool, man. Dude. I'm, I'm all I'm trying to do is get the straw ball. down. I, okay, That's good cool. deal. You're good. You're good. You're good. You got everything you need, man. Give me five minutes, man. I'm trying to take care of business, dude. All right. I didn't know, man. That boy. Oh my God, what I done? Oh my freaking God. I was just letting off some steam about that area. It don't matter, man. I'm so nervous, dude. Old oh, gamer. Old oh, geezer, dog. You know, I try, man. I'll tell you what, dude. I'll tell you what. It's all right now, G. Getting better, bud. You cut that in the hay. There's no damn. I don't have my, um, drink anymore. Oh, geez. I have to eat that fireball, half to. Oh, bummer, man. Hey, man, please stop digging and pulling all your shit, all your nasty shit out in my truck, dude. Oh, my stuff's clean, dude. You know, it's, fuck it ain't, dude. You've been laying on the that. goddamn front porch with a bunch of dogs. No, I haven't. You smell like a fucking, you smell like straight ass, man. Damn, you smell like, you smell terrible, dude. God. <laughs> you do, huh? Take the next right onto Georgia 16 East. I mean, nasty, man. You smell nasty, dude. Yeah. If I'd have known it was all this, I wouldn't have picked you up. We'll let you, we'll let you get an hour in. Sammy sausage head, don't you? Same shit every day. Ain't it getting old? No, not really, huh? Yeah, it does. No, it don't. You love that shit. You love being oh, no, broke. No, no, no. 
you love being Trust broke me, and okay. you know you love being broke and, and looking like Sammy Sausage Head. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> get in the truck looking like Willie Lump Lump. I mean, that's what you feel like, Willie Lump Lump. Get. See, the business don't like generating money for for, for that. You know, I could have had okay. somebody else out here that that pay him to. Huh? There's tons of business. Oh, yeah, yeah but there ain't nobody hiring Bo. There ain't nobody gonna hire Bo. Not today, probably. Uh-uh, no, yeah. Not tomorrow either. Who's gonna hire Bo? It's different. Yeah. That's white. Just don't even make no sense, man. I don't know, man. The, you know how teeth are. I mean, no, I'm talking about your money and right. all that. Your teeth ain't hurt too bad. Because if it, if it was, you 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 wouldn't be uh, 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 broke. You know. You want to think about your teeth when you were smoking that crack last night? This is the same dude that said he'd walk by a crack rock and not even pick it up. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Where's the, uh, what happened to the bite, the brown recluse bite? Did it go away? Mm-hmm. Uh, they just stayed as it. Oh, they yeah? Really do. We just need to finish this job over here where we started the other day. You know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm glad to get you out of the truck, dude, you smell, man. You stink. How you even, how do you function, man? Shouldn't be over here no more than about 30 minutes, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. That looks pretty good, don't it? Yeah. So, y'all see your old Bo. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he ain't gonna be out here but just a hot damn. Let him spread that straw. He's having a hard time doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking to get it, get get him out of my truck today. See, he, he ain't got a dollar, y'all. Not one freaking dollar. That boy spent a hundred dollars in one night. And he ain't gonna get no money today. I told him that. See, he ain't gonna get no money. I mean, he, he'll get you know just a few dollars today. You know, he'll probably get twenty. Thirty dollars today because we're only going to work about two hours, and uh, not even that long, really. I mean, you know. So if he, you know, <clears throat> you know, Yeah, that's the nature of it, y'all. That's a bad thing, you know, uh, when you got issues like he's got. But, you know, uh, I'm a lawn care guy, you know, and a uh, landscape guy. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a, a drug rehab counselor. So I try to counsel them best I can based on what I limited I know. But uh, he ain't he ain't gonna be out here long today. Y'all can believe that. Hell to the no. All right, y'all. Y'all see we in the old truck. What I got, Bo? Uh, not yet. I don't have it. How you doing, Bo? Good. You did, you did good over there this morning. We just got this one little yard we're gonna cut. The reason I'm in the old truck, y'all, is because uh. Well, the dump trailer is hooked to it, and I'm going to get the sand today for my uh, pool. So, uh, and I'm going to drop this mower off uh, when I do that at my storage unit. Because there ain't no sense in having uh, all this equipment at my house where I can't even hardly move around in the garage. So...
Man, it's a big difference in driving this truck and the other truck, y'all. I gotta say. Oh, y'all, I kind of want to show uh, this ramp here that I built a few years ago for the dump trailer. And uh, y'all can see it. Here it is. Uh, it's heavy, bro. Y'all can see how it just slides on right here, you know. So then when I want to dump, I can just push it off. And you can put it, one man can put it on. Uh, so uh, we're going to, you know, I, I put it on here. I, ma I made it so I could load mowers on. Uh, so it turns this trailer into a dump trailer, but also a lawn trailer too. So, uh, yeah. And it's heavy duty too. It ain't no, it ain't no junk. So, yeah. I got my sand, man. Tell you what, I really appreciate my other truck, man. Was this truck right here, dude? This truck right here is some straight garbage, man. Golly, I couldn't imagine still having to drive this truck every day. Oh my God, man. I mean, it runs fine, but man, it's just. It ain't nothing like driving that big Ford. I mean, this is the F-250. And it's really all you need. You know, you don't need a fifty thousand dollar truck to be in business. Put it that way. So, uh, yeah. But I got say I got uh, two two and a half tons of sand, and uh, that's going to be for my pool. And the ability to get the sand and move it to the location where they're putting the pool at uh, basically saved me $1,800 basically at the end of the day. That's what, you know, uh, the pool man said, if I bring the sand and, and, and pile it up there where the pool's going to go, then he'll do it for five grand instead of $6,800. So, sand cost me uh, uh, 90 bucks for uh, two and a half tons and I don't think I'll need all of that but I'd rather have too much than not enough because it's a lot of trouble to get this kind of type of material and get it to uh, you know to where you're working it you know gravel sand dirt and all these things and even mulch you know the, the actual retail price is you know uh, really not what you're paying for i mean for the product the actual retail of the product uh especially when it comes to, to gravel and stuff you're really paying more for uh, the ability to work it and get it to a to the to the location where you're working it you know, you know anybody can go buy gravel for 35 bucks a, a ton of gravel you know at least down here in my area number 57 gravel but everybody, but a ton don't do nothing, and but and everybody can't uh, haul a ton because everybody don't have a truck that'll haul a ton. And then, you know, to getting it off that truck, well, that's 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 an ordeal. You know, uh, I've done it many times. You know, in the beginning, uh, but I don't unload anything now. If the dump trailer, if I don't put it on the dump trailer, then I usually don't do it, man. You know, any kind of material, I don't fill a truck up with nothing. And it's bad on the truck, dude. I mean, you put, you know, uh, I've, I've done a couple of rock, big rock jobs with a pickup truck. Man, it just, it just wears on the, on the bed of the truck, man. You know, uh, but like I said, you know, uh, some, you know, material is worth more than others, but gravel and dirt and stuff, you know, uh, it's really not, that valuable until you get it to where you to the job to where you can work it then it becomes pretty freaking valuable you know so yeah and mulch is a little bit more valuable because but uh, and again if you're doing mulch and you can only haul and you're doing mulch for money and, and, and you can only haul a ton or two or or you have to offload it off of a lawn trailer. Well, you're not going to make as much money as somebody like me with a dump trailer. It's going to take you a lot longer to do four or five yards 
than it would for me because uh, I don't have to shovel it off of nothing you know uh, I can rake it down into a wheelbarrow or I can dump it in the actual bed that I'm working in dump some of it you know uh, there's just a lot of uh, things that a dump trailer you know and then you know like I was telling you guys a little bit earlier you know uh, but the ability to put a mower on on there makes the dump trailer even more useful. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, because now you can do, you you can you can haul on this dump trailer right here. You can haul uh, two yards, three yards of mulch, and a, put a lawnmower on there too. So you can do the mulch out of property, cut the grass out of property, uh, all in with one one swoop, and. Uh, and charge the same money as somebody that uh, has to shovel it off of a trailer. Yeah, not cool, man. So I just got home with the. I just got home with the sand. Uh, kind of just want to show y'all. This is a. Uh, this is a little bit more than two tons. Uh, in my area, they sell it by the yard. And by the yard, uh, uh, a, a yard is a little bit more than a ton when it comes to the weight. You know, a yard, the yard, a yard is uh, a volume measurement, and a ton is a weight measurement. So, uh, on average, if you get a for sand and dirt and stuff, if you get it by the yard, you're usually getting a little bit more than a ton. Now, if it's wet, then of course that 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 can can uh, minimize your if 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 you buy dirt and sand and let me let me just go here first. So the the reason these guys that I buy all my material like this from uh, sell it by the yard because if you go and buy dirt by the ton and it's wet, well you don't get as much. It's, it's that simple. If you buy wet sand, it's heavier. If you buy wet dirt, it's heavier. If you buy wet gravel, it's heavier. If you buy wet mulch, it's heavier. And it's substantial when you start talking about some tonnage. So uh, that's why they sell it by volume. Uh, I don't know if everybody sells it like that, because I don't go to many places uh, and buy uh, bulk stuff. That's about the only place I go. So yeah, uh, but this is a six by 12 trailer. So y'all see that that is, uh, what it is i'm gonna go on and drop the ramp because probably what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just dump the sand right here and then i'm gonna carry it in the backyard with the bobcat uh, and but i got there's a few things i gotta figure out first on how i'm gonna do that so i gotta go across i gotta go across a deck so uh and this ramp right here that i've showed you guys that i built this is how easy it is to get it off done you know so yeah all right y'all i'm going here and eat my sammy man peace out